Now, take the man who ran what President Reagan called his task force on low-budget federal spending, a man criticized in some quarters himself for taking a lot of tax breaks. Take movie director Ridley Scott, a man known for high-budget science fiction epics about an alien that munches people and a robot-killing cop. Put them together, and what do you get? A fantasy nightmare commercial on the sticker shock and future shock of deficit spending. A political commercial that the makers hope that you would be seeing tonight on major network television, but you won't. Charles Osgood explains why. Television networks are in the business of selling commercial time. They don't like to reject business. But all three major networks turned this commercial from the W.R. Grace Corporation down cold. It depicts a scene years hence in which this generation is tried by the next for saddling them with a massive federal debt. I'm afraid you're much too young to understand. Maybe so. But I'm afraid the numbers speak for themselves. By 1986, for example, the national debt had reached two trillion dollars. Didn't that frighten you? Peter Grace, who headed President Reagan's commission on cost control, had hoped to introduce the TV spot right after the President's State of the Union message tonight. But to Grace's dismay, the networks wouldn't have any part of it. I would just ask them, aren't you worried? Uh, don't you feel that it's a wonderful thing, public service, for us to want to pay you to show this? What is your problem? The network's problem is that they don't want to open the door to just any advertiser who can afford the money to push his own ideas. In this case, ABC says the subject matter is controversial. NBC says we don't handle controversial subjects in advertisements. And CBS says no, too. We don't accept commercials which take, which raise an issue of controversy of public importance and take a point of view on that issue. I don't think it's controversial at all. I don't understand it. Why anybody would think that? No more questions. I have a question. Are you ever going to forgive us? So cost cutter Grace's company has spent a small fortune on a spot that will be seen only on some local stations and cable TV. At w Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York. To stay one step until our live coverage of President Reagan's State of the Union address coming up shortly, Dan Rather reporting from New York. Thank you for joining us. Joe.